Hello guys, unboxing here. This box came all the way from England. I bought it with a red direction because um, this watch was only in England and I'll put the link bar down below of the website where they redirect your purchase. So let's see and we will talk a little bit about this. So this 100 pounds. Let's see. So this is a rotary. This is my first rotary watch. <clears throat> this is a brand. A traditional brand from, from the UK. A lot of paper. I found this watch in some reviews that uh, I saw on the internet. Because this is my first, let's say, dress watch, which is a squared. Okay. Let's see. It's a nice package. Not really fantastic, nothing special, but it's okay. Whoa. There you go. So this is the Rotary Cambridge. Take up this. I think there is also here on the plastic here in the in the crystal. So this is <clears throat> one of the alternatives that you see in the internet for the Cartier tank. And uh, this is a quartz watch, okay. <clears throat> But as you saw, very cheap, a hundred pounds. So here in Spain, after conversion, transport and everything, it came down to 160 euros, more or less. Everything paid already, the, the taxes and everything. So it's a very nice dial. The date window is really very small, as they, they said in the reviews that I saw. But the dial is just simply beautiful, really beautiful. And the leather, you know, some people, some of the reviews that I saw said that the, that the strap was a little bit crappy. Some reviews that said, but it's not really that bad. So let's take my caliber here and see the dimensions. So... You have here 28 millimeters here, you know, 28.5 across, lug to lug of 42, so it's very slim. And of course, being a quartz watch, very slim, seven millimeters. One nice thing, of this watch, of of this specific one, the Cambridge, is that it has a sapphire crystal. So let's let's test here now the sapphire crystal. That's what they say in the specification. So let's see. Yeah, it's really sapphire crystal. So quite nice. You see here. So let's see. I closed my. My wrist is six and a half inches. And look, it fits very nice. So if you have a 16 or six and a half inches wrist, it does fit very, very nice. And the leather, I think it's gonna break easy. It's gonna break very easily. So, very nice sunburst dial, which is like silver. The numerals are blue. Very nice. I like the watch. And at the price, man, this is really, really, really good for the price. 
I know even though it's a quartz watch, but you don't have the seconds hand, so you don't really see if what is it. So it's very good, very nice. It's a square dress watch, which I wanted, and I didn't want to pay, you know, overpriced. There are other alternatives, which are with a steeper price. You have the Frederic Constant, around 800, 900 euros. You also have the Longin Dolce Vita, which goes around 1,500. All of them are, you know, alternatives to the Cartier tank. Really nice. Really nice, I recommend this if you guys want a square dress, wa dress watch, you know, which you don't pay a lot of money. Okay, I'll leave the link in the description, so if you want to buy it from, from England and you have a difficulty, you know, to buy it from there. Cool, thank you guys, see you next one.